I found a love for me well, Darling, just dive right in well, Follow my lead well, I found a girl Beautiful and sweet well, I never knew you were the someone Waiting for me Cause we were just kids when we fell in love Not knowing what it was I will not give you up this time but Darling, just kiss me slow Your heart is all I
is Jeff Bro, and I'm father of the groom. Welcome, family, friends, and loved ones. We are gathered here to celebrate the union of Abigail and Kai. Each of us has had a role in helping them along the path that has led to this joyful occasion. Whether it's a family member, friend, mentor, or whatever role we play in their lives, our influence has touched their individual journeys. And we, we celebrate with them as they now join their lives together forever. I ask you to pledge your continued love and support for Abigail and Kyle as they enter into this new adventure. Let us together nurture, advise, and counsel them, celebrating each joy, achievement, adventure, and standing with them during the challenging times. Though our relationships will continue to evolve, the bonds we have forged with them will be doing. Abigail and Kyle, we welcome you to this moment in your lives and the place you have earned in each other's hearts. We all join with you on this day as you commit before everyone present that from this point on, you shall live as one. Now let us take a moment to remember those who cannot be with us today, either because of distance or because they have gone before us. In particular, we lift up Abigail's grandparents, Grandpa and Grandma Hodo, and Gertie, and Aunt Debbie, and Kyle's Grandpa and Grandma Shade. Though they may not be with us physically, present here, they remain with us in spirit, for they are linked forever with Abby and Kyle's lives and shared memories. Abigail and Kyle, do you now commit <clears throat> to forging life together to the difficult yet endlessly rewarding adventures of creating a new family with your intersecting lives? <clears throat> when you were little, your families were your whole world. Everyone you knew and loved, everything you experienced was part of a cozy circle around the home. Then he went to school and in universe wide to include other children and adults. They learned and played with you, instructed and counseled you, helped you find the tools that would allow you to find your own world of growing complexity. As your activities and interests expanded, so did the circle of those who would continue to influence and protect you. What began as your parents' role was now a collective duty of an expanding community. Then you grew more independent and ranged further and further from home. You developed new friends, interests, hobbies, and passions. You experienced a few bumps in the road. You experience life as an adult. Eventually, you found one another. How? On a dating app called Bumble. <laughs> <laughs> Where the girl makes the first move and contacts the guy. Abby, I am so impressed with you. <laughs> <laughs> so even though you met Kyle for the first time, I think you were working at a Starbucks. He came up there and met you and he made a big mess, dropping his lemon loaf all over the floor. <laughs> and you cleaned it up. And yet there was a second date. <laughs> Which led to more and more. And now we are gathered here. We marvel with that loving connection the two of you have made. And we are grateful for having had a role in preparing you for this ongoing miracle. <clears throat> As you move together to 
to a difficultly beautiful world, one that is fiery and daunting at times. Remember the journeys that have led you to become the unique individuals that you are, and that now have led you to each other. Even though the world can be challenging, always remember everything you ever needed to know you learned in the sandbox in kindergarten. <laughs> the rules of a fulfilled life and marriage are really quite simple, as written by Roger Pogan in his book, All I Really Needed to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. These rules share everything. Play fair. Don't hit people. <laughs> Put things back where you found them. Clean up your own mess. <laughs> Don't take things that aren't yours. Say you're sorry when you hurt someone. Wash your hands before you eat. Flush. <laughs> and put the toilet seat up if you're supposed to. Warm cookies and cold milk are good for you. Live a balanced life. Learn some, and think some, and draw some, and paint, and sing, and dance, and play, and work some every day. Take a nap every afternoon. When you go into the world, watch out for traffic, hold hands, and stick together. Be aware of wonder. Remember the little seed in the styrofoam cup? The roots go down, and the plant goes up and nobody really knows how or why. We're all kind of like that. Goldfish and hamsters, white mice, and even the little seed in the styrofoam cup, they all die, so do we. And then, remember the contained books, and the first words you learned, and the biggest word, bird ball book. Look at each other every day with awe and wonder. Look at each other every day with adoration and with deep roots and bountiful food. Look at each other every day, showing one another how you are devoted to the other's love and companionship along the journey of life. Every day is song. Abigail and Kyle have chosen to exchange rings as a sign of their commitment. So Diego? You're going to give me the rings in a minute. <laughs> because I'm going to give them their vows. Let these perfect circles symbolize the path you have set upon together, endless and open, gleaming and priceless. <laughs> May you wear them always as a reminder of the unbreakable bond you share. Let the timeless beauty of their precious metal recall the love of families, friends, and mentors who have helped you forge in you a core of confidence and companionship. Abigail, please take Kyle's ring and place it on your finger and make your vows to him. When I was younger, I would dream about my future husband, how he would talk, look, act, and be. I think it's safe to say I was dreaming about you. I'm so incredibly grateful that you answered when I slid into your DMs on Bumble. <laughs> I remember in the early days of our relationship feeling as though this was different. After you said I love you after knowing each other for a month and only meeting twice, our fate was sealed. Our relationship has not always been easy. In fact, the universe has thrown us way too many curveballs that could have broken us, but they didn't. Here we are after four and a half years together, standing in front of our friends and family, sharing our story. In our new phase of life, there are many things I want to promise you. I promise to always kiss you good morning and good night, even when you wake up at very early hours of the morning for work. 
I promise to actually make a decision when you ask me what I want for dinner and not just say, I don't know. <laughs> I promise to forever rewatch The Office, The Catholics, and Practical Jokes during Superstorm with you. I promise to take a breath or walk away when we are fighting so I don't say anything I don't mean. I promise to always say yes to spontaneous adventures, late night snack runs, and making our car into our hotel room for nights on long road trips. I promise to always be your support system and shoulder to cry on, especially when you're giving Winnie, our cat, a bath, and she mauls you and scratches you. I promise to let you buy as many toys as you want, including but not limited to motorcycles, a boat, all makes and models of cars, tools, and kitchen gadgets. <laughs> I promise to always make up weird names for our cat Winnie with you. My favorite being Patoot the Tap Cat, Rotisserie Chicken Patoot, and Loaf Cat, among many other names. We're really weird with our cat. I promise to always have your back and stand up for and with you. Lastly, I promise to love you unconditionally with all of my being every day for the rest of my days on the earth and then some. Kyle Francis Libro, you are my best friend, my soulmate, someone I can always count on. You make me a better person. You make me want to work harder. You allow me to be myself, make my own decisions, and support me in achieving my goals. You make me feel so incredibly happy, proud, and most importantly, loved. I can't wait to take on this new journey with you and continue to not only grow as individuals, but as husband and wife. I love you. Kyle, 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 take this ribbon, place it on Abigail's finger, and make your vows to her. Abigail Joe, the moment I met you, I knew you were special. The way you lost me pulling up at the Mall America Park Live and just having that. The face was priceless because I knew right when I saw you that my life was going to change dramatically. Your smile driving up was priceless. I knew this was something real. We've had a journey so far, full of ups and downs, but I wouldn't change anything in the world. You are my partner, my best friend, my everything. You bring light to the dark and always have my back. I vow I will love you with everything I have. I will continue to do so every day. I vow to love your family unconditionally as I do with you. I vow to be your rock, your protector. I will vanquish all spiders and mice regardless <laughs> if there are any. And if not, I will humor you in check anyways. <laughs> I vow that every day I will keep that spark alive. I want to remind you every day why I love you. It's not hard to find new ways to love you. I vow I will always support you and be your number one fan. You are so beautiful, I'm still in shock. Every day I wake up with you, I thank God for bringing you into my life. I will always love you for better or for worse. Sick or healthy, I will always be there to comfort you. We made it. We are here today to show the world that I love you with all of my heart. I am forever yours. Truly, God, love you. Abigail and Kyle, please face your family, your friends, and the loved ones gathered here today. Look. Look at all the love and support surrounding you. Look and close your eyes and take a mental picture of this moment. Through the days to come, the great days, the good days, the bad days, and the really tough days. Close your eyes and remember the beauty of this moment. Abigail and Kyle, by the powers vested in me by the American <laughs> Marriage Ministry of the State of Minnesota, <laughs> and through all the witnesses here present, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Before. 
and officially say now, take your it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I announce for the first time as a married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Kyle and Abigail Brough. <laughs> Longer if 
stars above you. and gratitude. Thank you for the blessing of bringing Abby and Kyle mm -hmm. together in marriage today. We ask you to bless this marriage, their, their family, and all of their relationships. Help them stay strong in any adversity and treasure and protect the joy of marriage. May we, as their family and friends, commit to upholding and encouraging them. In Jesus' name we pray. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. My Jesus' mercy. Come, Lord Jesus, be our guest. Let these gifts to us be blessed. Amen.
lucky to call Abby and Kyle um, some of my best friends. Um, they're the people I trust and call if I need. My son picked up from the bus in a pitch. And we actually live a minute away from each other. And so when I met Abby at our first jobs after graduation during the pandemic, it was so exciting to know I also had a new neighbor. And we were some of the few clinicians still seeing kids in person, and we went under really stressful circumstances and spent a lot of time trying to keep our hands above water. Um, we were co-therapists in the same day treatment room, so very much in the trenches and in the rooms together. Um, I know there were hard times for everyone during the pandemic, and for you and Kyle too. And I remember a time when things were really stressful and seeing you guys will look, will get through it and look back at this time and see how far that you've come. And I hope you guys can look around and feel like the love and support some of the groups around me in this room. And, you know, this is what you've built so far together. And I can't wait to see what's next for you guys. And I'm so grateful for your friendship and making it part of this very special day. And I love you both very much.
court and a little bit of uh, love for their first dance. So if you're at your table right now, you can go ahead and come on down to the dance floor down here and join Mr. and Mrs. Bro for the first time dancing together as a newly married couple. One more time, big thank you to Lindsay, our photographer, who's just going to be here for a little bit longer. Um, and in respect to her time, if you guys need to get a picture, uh, I'm sure everybody wants to see your lovely outfit, your beautiful face, in the scrapbook for evermore. So make sure you get a picture from Lindsay. Um, and we're going to start dancing. You guys cool with that? Make a little noise for to start dancing. All right. Dancing for the first time together as a married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Bro. I think that possibly, maybe I'm falling for you. There's a chance that I've fallen quite hard over you I've seen the paths that your eyes wander down I wanna come to I think that possibly maybe I'm falling for you
on the ride, please.
village to raise a child. And you don't get two kids that are this beautiful, this amazing, this lovely without some really great parenting. So thank you so much to all of our parents out there. Thank you so much to the mother of the groom, to the father of the bride, to, to everybody here that played a part in making this a family. And uh, at that rate, we're going to go ahead and open up the dance floor to everybody because we brought you here to celebrate. You guys ready to celebrate some love?
Only fools rush in But I can't help Falling in love with you Shall I stay Would it be 